Today we are playing Pokemon Blue. Let's get into this. Okay, so first of all I would like to explain that this is not the usual Pokemon Blue you are used to. This is slightly different and you might notice in a second. Here we go. So, that's a Geodude. That's not the usual Pokemon Professor Oak shows. Uh, it's making a different sound as well. That was a Nidoran sound. But Okay, so this game is a randomized version of Pokemon Blue. Everything has been changed. I've changed the um, trainers, changed the Pokemon that show up in different areas, changed Pokemon types, TMs, everything. Everything about this game is different, and you'll notice when we get into it. So first of all, I'll come up with my name. My name is... Kevin. Uh, all capitals, of course. Okay, my name's Kevin. And here is our rival. I'm gonna just stick to the basic. Uh, let's stick with Ash. Uh, no. Let's go with Red, whatever. That's right. His name is Red. Kevin, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits you. Let's go. Okay. So, once we actually get to see some Pokemon, you'll get to see how strange this game is. So, uh, okay, having trouble walking down the stairs, that's a good sign. Not gonna talk to her, gonna get going. So, firstly, we have to go down here, I believe. Check that Professor Oak is not here. Here's Red. Gramps isn't around. Okay, so now we have to go find Gramps. Pretty sure he's up here in the field. There he is! Don't go out there! Okay, come on. Just want to get through the starting mid and then you'll get to really see how this is different. So... This is the usual stuff you have to do in Pokemon. So, come on. Now. Nearly there, guys. So we get to choose our starter Pokemon. And you'll get to see that even choosing your starter Pokemon is a little different now. Okay. Let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to go... Okay. There are three Pokemon here. They're inside the Pokeballs. When I was young... Uh, okay, come on! Ah, you only have three left. Okay, now I can choose any of these three. So let's see what's here. Come on! Let's see. So the first Pokemon we can choose from is... Clefairy! Okay. So as you can see, the the Pokemon I can choose from are completely random. So that was uh, Clefairy first one. Psyduck. Huh. It's quite random as well. And Ponyta. Huh. Wow, it's, it, it's cool how it's still a fire type, a water type, and... Well, the last one isn't the usual, but you know. So, who will I choose? If I choose Clefairy, I'm going to have a hard time. I know that. But then again, everything is switched. The moves that Pokemon learn are switched as well, so really... And the types as well. So, Clefairy really isn't that bad a type. It could it could be a great type actually, Psyduck or Ponyta. Uh, let's go Clefairy. Because this game is going to be completely strange. May as well choose the unexpected Pokemon. I got Clefairy. Didn't expect that, sir. Do I give a nickname? Nah. Okay, let's see what Red chooses. He's going for Psyduck. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, now we get to have our first Pokemon ball. Yep. <laughs> we get to really see what our Pokemon are like. This is going to be really weird. I don't even know what moves Clefairy knows. This is going to be like the strangest Pokemon battle ever. Psyduck against Clefairy. Okay, let's see what we got guys. Water Gun and Fissure. I can't even pronounce it. That's a very strong move. And, um... So is, uh... Water Gun's quite strong as well. So, let's go for... Let's try Fisher. We got a strong move. His teleport. Ha! Huh. Unaffected. Why is he unaffected? I also forgot to mention that, um... Pokemon types are completely different. He has Blizzard as well! Wow. Pokemon types are different as well, so, uh... Psyduck is whatever type. Something that's not affected much by uh, water anyway. So he's not affected by Fissure and Water Gun is not that effective. But then again, he's just going to keep using teleport, so it should be okay. 
Oh, hit me with Blizzard. Level 5 Pokemon using Blizzard. Interesting. Uh, okay, that's okay. Okay, I think we got this. He's wasting his time with Teleport again. Just wasting his time. And we got this. First Pokemon Battle 1. Good job, Cafe! <laughs> this is gonna be such a strange run. And we're level 6 now. Fantastic. If I didn't use Teleport so often, I might have won. Okay, he picked the wrong Pokemon. Yeah, he did. Get stuck with teleporters if one of your first two moves. It's never good. Okay, now we're gonna begin our Pokemon adventure. Do I have to go talk to him first? I've forgotten. Um, but, but, but. Now I am going to go pick up the package for Professor Oak. So we're gonna leave our hometown, go out on an adventure. So, as I said before, Pokemon in routes are completely different as well, so we don't know what Pokemon we're gonna meet up now. So let's see. Okay, first random Pokemon of the game. A Scyther. Oh, it's a scary little uh, Pokemon to see right outside your hometown. First Pokemon you're ever facing in the wild. Let's hit him. Oh, what's he gonna use? Use Mimic. Interesting. He learned uh, Water Gun. Okay, I thought he was gonna learn Fizzer. No. Nope. Okay. Apparently Fisher has a very low accuracy rate, so we're just going to have to use Water Gun. Oh wow, it's super effective, so what type was Scyther? So um, I'm pretty sure I said it so that Pokemon have random types, but their types will be set for the rest of the game. So Scyther is bad against water types there, but he will be bad against water types for the rest of the game. And you see, uh, once a random Pokemon spawns in the route, it won't change, so it's always going to be Scyther. So he's one of the random Pokemon that can be found here. So he probably replaced Pidgey or Rattata or something. Oh, let's keep going. Okay, we're entering Viridian City. And we are going over to the Pokemon Mart, Pokemart, and we're going to pick up Professor Oak's Yoki. Okay, hey! No, Professor Oak, right? His order came in when you take it to him. Yep. I got Oak's parcel! I wonder what this could be. I'll say hi. Don't know your name, but I'll say hi for you. Okay. Oh, the person at the Pokemon said, hey. So, I must be talented. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yep. Custom Pokeball. He's back. wonder how his Psyduck is now. I have a request of both of you. And at this there, uh, Pokedex, all the records that uh, you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Take these with you. I got the Pokedex! So basically, we're gonna have to try and collect all the Pokemon in the world. Hopefully, wouldn't won't be too hard. Pokemon are spawning randomly now, so you know, some of the harder Pokemon might be easy to capture. Hate to say it, but I don't need you. Oh, I need you though. Uh, I can get the town map from his sister, but will I bother? I do not think so. So let's go on with our adventure. We are done here. Let's get on with it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Will I capture another Pokemon or not? As you, Scyther is here, but, you know, in the usual playthrough, you'd see Scyther and you'd be like, oh yeah, I want to catch that, but, I don't know. You don't know what his movesets are going to be. Like, Pokemon, basically, they're only the pictures of the Pokemon now. That's all you can guess. <laughs> you can't guess anything else. You don't know what type they're going to be. You don't know what moves they're going to learn. You're going to, you just have to, you're learning as you play along. So it is like playing a brand new Pokemon game. Raichu. Huh. Interesting. I'm going to leave this for the moment because I kind of don't want to have to reheal a load. I want to just get on with it. So we are back in Viridian City and we are going to move on. We keep going. And this person up here is going to try and teach us how to catch Pokemon. Oh no, he won't. Oh no, he's lying on the ground before when you can't leave the town because you have to get the parcel first. But now we are moving on to Viridian Forest. Scary place. It's probably going to be the same Scyther and Raichu here.